Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we will be discussing travel and plein air art supplies. So this mess that you see here are actually the supplies that I'm using when I'm away for quite some time and I still want to paint, but I can't bring all of my supplies. I need to keep it very light and very um, contained. So there are actually two types of supplies here. Those are this is just a bag that I can fit in most of my travel backpacks, so most of my, of my bags whenever I travel. I keep this pouch here with whatever supplies I will bring at the moment. And this is uh, my plein air easel that I will show you in a bit. And then this here is my super light, um, my super light setup. So this is when I'm going on the small walk or whatever and I just need to have my supplies <clears throat> I'm not sure I will be painting but I just want to have my supplies just in case and I have a super light setup in those two and it's super convenient because I can put it around my waist with this here and it just acts like a belt and I can still have a backpack or whatever if I need it and it can also with this here you can also directly put it on your backpack if it has um, this waist um, I don't know how, how you call this, but you know some of the hiking backpacks, you can also attach it around your waist and then you can put this directly on this, um, on this belt thing. So what's inside here? So what is really nice is that I can fit here a small A6 sketchbook. So this is just a sticker that I've made with some artwork I had done and then I keep this small sketchbook here. I have two, one with toned paper, beige paper, and one with white paper, so I will just shift things around whenever I need it. Um, and it's very convenient because it just fits this inside, so I can always have this in here. Here I can even put my keys, super nice. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm getting distracted. So I have here this here, and then on this pouch here, I can put my phone, I can put uh, some money, whatever, passports, and I also keep a few supplies. So um, I've used this because I was traveling for almost a month away from home, and of course I wanted to be painting and everything. So I just, this, what I'm showing here is the supplies that I've been using um, when I was away during the summer. And then I will also show you some variation that you can do around these uh, supplies. So um, this was for watercolors. So I have two water brushes, a small one and a bigger one. And then I have uh, this pen. It is the, what's the name? Fudeno Suke um, ink pen. And it's really nice because it's a flexible nib. So you can do thin and very thick lines with the same pen. So this is what I kept in here. And then on the second one, and you, already, you even have another pocket here if you want to put some extra tickets or whatever. Like I said, it's very convenient. It's super contained, but you can al already have the basics here. And on the second one, I have uh, this that I put around my waist, around my wrist, sorry, um, to clean up my colors when I'm using my, my, my brushes. Um, so that's super convenient actually and I have this always we probably change it to the bigger metal clips which are easier than this one this one is a little bit too tight for my sketchbook size and I have this glorious thing I have a whole video on setting this up and choosing the colors for this one but it's just super contained so it's very easy to build to Ah, to put together even if I'm struggling right now um, and then you have it all here and I can just paint when I'm sitting when I'm even standing with this setup so it's just a very quick sketch ink and watercolor setup but it's very nice when you're not sure you will have time to paint but you still want to be prepared just in case and take color notes or whatever before doing an actual painting so that's my very light setup and as you can see, it takes really no space and I can even have some additional um, personal stuff like, I don't know, tissues, uh, money, passports, all this stuff 
in these bags when I'm just going for a walk or going in the city center or whatever. So that's the very compact one. And then I have the bigger one here where I have a variety of things because it's about, um, it's not only for plein air, it's also for being able to paint when I'm at the hotel or whenever I'm away from home, but I don't want to bring too many supplies. So this is basically what I will be using when I want to paint um, when I'm going away and I want to keep it quite compact what I'm taking. So it just takes this place. So what is inside? Inside you have, I will just put it all here and then explain. I have quite a few things actually. It contains a lot. So that's all that was inside, as you can see it's all empty. And it was made by a friend of mine, so it has also some stuff here where you can uh, secure your palette if you don't want it to go all over the place. Very nice, nice bag. Um, so here is, because I was taking the plane, so it's all in a plastic bag, and anyway when it's water I like to keep it in a plastic bag, I think it's easier. I have essential oils, but that's nothing to do. Uh, a small spray bottle. And this here is just clean water that I keep with me when I'm painting. So I have two water containers. This one I like to use when I'm just at a desk sitting somewhere um, because it's easier to clean and I don't know, it's just a very basic but nice one. And this one is way more compact, so I will be taking it when I'm doing plein air. And also this one fits with my plein air easel, like I would show in a while. And what I'm doing then is I'm taking the water from here, pouring it inside, then doing my painting and whatever. And when I'm done, I put it, it back here so that I'm not containing, contaminating the place where I'm painting. Um, so that's for the water thing. I wanted to have one with lid, but actually it's, I think it's easier to have a small bottle with me. Why can't I put it, put it back? And you can actually find this on the, um, uh, when you're doing on the, when you're going on the, um, it's, it's a camp, camping, camping, hiking and camping cup. So you can find this in sports shops or whatever. Uh, this, like I said, it's the same as the other one. Uh, it's an A6. It's from Hanne Müller. It's not 100% cotton. So I think at some point I will shift for 100% cotton. But this one is, is white, so it's easier when you're using watercolor or um, not so opaque medium. But the paper is, is not 100% cotton, so you can't really layer a lot of layers of, wa of water and put too much water in here. Th this is also a sticker that I've made. Um, here is just a very small palette because uh, sometimes when I'm painting I don't have enough space on my palette or when I'm sitting I like to use another palette. So this one is a very small, small and transparent one, it's super easy. And then there is this metal thing for steering and it can always be useful to have some kind of tool with you. So it's very nice to have this. Uh, then here I have a viewfinder. Oh, and I also have, I always keep some baking paper in case something is not um, completely dry when I have to move or, I don't know, I need to protect something, I use this. This is my viewfinder. So it came like this and then I added this to be able to change the size of what I'm looking at. So I can go for a square format and then I just look at what I want to paint and it helps me for the composition. I'm still struggling a little bit with this, but it, it, it's helpful somehow. This is just the colors I have on my gouache palette, I guess. Yeah, that's it. Uh, this is dry gouache. It's super dirty because I've been using it <laughs> quite a lot when I was away. Uh, so this is dried gouache. Like I said, the small micro portable painter was watercolor and this one is gouache. I like to have both when I'm away and dry gouache is super convenient because when you're taking the plane or you're traveling light and you're doing plain air, 
you just have to re-wet it with this water bottle and then you, you're good to go and then you don't have to have all the tubes and everything. And then the last part of what I have, except for the supplies, are those going with this here. So this is the Stablo easel. Let me just set it up. So you set it up like this, you can also put this one, but I hardly ever use this one uh, because the holes are not the right size for most of my pencils, so it's not really useful. But this one, it's very useful with this. So, sorry, with this. So I can put it like that in here. And it's all nice and secure. And then I can pour my water on this. Um, yeah, all good. Because the, the bigger one I have does not fit in here. I can't really put it inside. Whereas this one, I can put it here. So that's really nice. And then it's magnetic, as you can see. So I can put this palette like this here. I can put this pencil case. So in this pencil case, I have uh, my drawing supplies. So a, vari a variety of um, graphite pencils and just blending stamp, a colorist pencil, a watercolor pencil, yeah, a variety of drawing supplies. So that's what I'm going for drawing. And then you can put your sketchbook here. Let me show you. So for instance, you want to open it here. You go to the cover. You insert the cover here and then you're good to go. You can just open it and you can paint. And you use a clip to make sure this stays flat and you can paint. So that's very convenient. Um, so I, I, usually, I usually have it with me and you can also put underneath here, let me show you. Underneath here you have a scratch and you can attach um, something to put on your tripod, an adap adapter for your tripod. And I have a video where I show that also. Sometimes I do it, but uh, this time I was really traveling super light, so I didn't want to bring my tripod with me. So I just had this, and you can use it while standing, you can use it while sitting, on the table, whatever. It just keeps everything contained. And when you don't have space to put all your supplies around you, it's really nice to have it all staying here. Um, so yeah, then what's left? Those are some brushes, travel brushes from Raphael. So I use it mainly for gouache and this one I use for watercolor because it, this one holds a lot of water and those are a little bit stiffer so I prefer to use it for gouache but they are also okay for watercolor. I just tend to use the water brushes for watercolor and then use the stiffer one for darker details and it works quite well and then inside this I just put everything that I feel like taking on a trip so it varies a lot from one trip to another um, I have a fine liner I have uh, color, colored pencils pencils I have this also so this is super useful because I can just take water out of this or even out of my um, spray bottle and put it on my on my palette if I need to rewet it and my spray bottle is not doing the work or put it to on my water brushes because sometimes I run out of water on my water brushes so it's very convenient to have this. I always travel with the tube of white gouache also because uh, the dry one does not rewet as opaque as the as the tube as the one straight out of the tube the fresh one. I have also my uh, masking tape here, my, yeah, my tape. Um, I have this just in case I need to attach something to my easel or to my sketchbook or whatever. I have some watercolor markers. I have magnets also because then as this is, as the easel is magnetic, if I put magnets inside this, I can secure the pencil case to the to the easel, so that's very convenient. What else do I have? I have a white gel pen, of course. 
And I think that's all inside this. Uh, for the watercolor brushes, the yeah, the watercolor markers, I have a variety of them, and I just choose whatever colors are appealing to me before I'm leaving on a trip. So this time I chose I chose those ones. It was a fun combination. And then for my pencils, I always keep the same because I'm doing a lots of lots of landscapes, and I'm missing another blue, but those are the basic ones that I always have. And I never only use pencils, it's most, mostly to put details on top of an existing painting. So the violet one, the, very, the deep purple for the shadows, um, this for anything on the landscapes, like the rocks or whatever. And this one can be nice also for some shadows on the rocks, some details for the sky sometimes. Just, it's just a fun color to play with on landscapes. So yeah, that's all the thing I'm taking with me when I'm doing, when I'm going light uh, and I'm painting outside home, whether it is plein air or just because I'm traveling. And let me just show you some other options that you can you could go with and that sometimes use but did not go with this summer. So of course you can go with a variety of sketchbooks. Here I just choose my A6 because they are the more compact ones that I have. And I can also, I also do my own um, sketchbooks, so I can always throw another one on my backpack if I want to have other options. Um, I've tried this summer also using these. So those are the Caldash Neo Color, and they are water soluble wax pastels. I don't know if you, yeah, here. And they are really nice to do quick sketches, plein air. But the problem is when it's super hot, they kind of melt. So I don't think it's very convenient depending on where you're going uh, and it kind of stains everything. So that's why now I'm using them at home and not on location. But they are very portable and if you're going to cold places and you don't, and you're sure they won't be um, melting, it's, it's a very nice option too. It allows you to do very quick plein air drawing, so it's really nice. Uh, then I recently bought this one here. So this one is the portable painter, the classic one. Um, and I've never used it yet, so still have to see how it goes. But it's a very, again, um, very nice design. And everything is contained. It's super small, again. It's really nice. You have you open it like, like this, then you have those two that can be used as water containers or just can put your supplies in it or whatever. Um, this you can just put around the elastic band there if you manage to. Like so. And then it can stand on its own, like so, or you can even put it around your, um, not your arm obviously, but around your leg if you're sitting. So that's nice also, very compact. Uh, I don't really like the mixing wheels here because those are a little bit small, I don't understand what you're supposed to do with. You can buy some additional pans to also have pans in here. And be careful because the pans are smaller than normal half pans. It's the Windsor and Newton size, so they are um, a bit smaller than the normal ones. And for now, I've just put my old Coatman watercolors inside this, but I've not, I've, I've not been using it yet. And I think I will mostly be using it at home uh, when I'm just on the couch doing an evening session, and you know, not wanting to take a lot of supplies, but just wanted to have something on my lap. I think it's very convenient. But of course, you can also take it plain air, uh, because I have magnetic. Easel, I prefer to have um, magnetic things like these palettes, these metallic palettes. Uh, this one is my watercolor ones. I recently changed it, so it just I just move things around a lot. I, I keep little magnet, magnets on the other side of my pans, and I just move them around a lot. I've not been playing with this one yet. I've just changed it yesterday, actually. Um, when I'm taking the very micro one, I won't necessarily be taking this slightly bigger one, but if I want to do more of a watercolor 
bigger piece it's super nice to have this one because the full pants are way easier to to use when you're plein air you don't want to be always scrubbing into your half pants and you have more mixing space and I can put it in my palette just like I did with the gouache one so it's a very convenient uh, size and very convenient palette to take it just depends on what will be my focus on my plein air uh, or on my travel um, and what else yeah and this thing here is super nice actually so this is kind of an airtight it's it's very cheap I've bought it at Gerstecke it's at uh, the local art supply store here and it's kind of an airtight palette for gouache so you can just pour your gouache in it's very dirty because I've been using quite a lot and it keeps your paint kind of wet so it's not like completely like out of the tube if you use it every day and you wet it every day it will be like straight out of the tube some colors also dry way slower than the others so they will be staying like way like they are just being poured out of the tube some will dry a little bit faster but it's nothing like dry gouache so if you want to go somewhere if you know you there are colors you're always using it's nice to have this kind of stuff on your um, on your desk or keep it on your luggage I had no problem with them leaking or whatever. I keep it in a small bag just in case. Uh, I've put it on my suitcase and it was all fine. Uh, and I also use it a lot when I'm at home just because it's super convenient to have my colors already out of the tubes for the gouache and still fresh, not like uh, dry ones. Even if I like dry ones, when I'm home I like to use fresh gouache. And that's why also this is very convenient, the palette, because of course you don't have any mixing space here, so the palette comes in very handy. So yeah, that's a small tour of all the things you can be using if you want to travel uh, light and still make some art, and if you don't have a lot of space or you're not sure where to take, I think those things that I've just presented here, you can do your own combination, but they are very convenient for traveling and for uh, being able to do art while traveling or while going plein air. So I hope you find this interesting and I hope it gives you some ideas on how to bring your art supplies when you're traveling. And I will keep it, uh, updating it, of course. Maybe if I find some new ideas, I will make an update or put it on my blog somewhere. So yeah, just stay tuned and have a lovely end of the summer and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!